What is up, every... Go away, Ad. My God. Anyway, what's up, guys? What's going on? Thank you guys for clicking on yet another Ohio Game Talks video. Um, this is... Yeah. I mean, this is about all. This is about my... It, it, this is a... Uh, I did this for um, NFL, you know, a few months ago. Um, but now, I decided I'll just bring this series back for M NBA as well. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But, um, you know, I'm excited to get this one here. And, um, you know, we'll just see where everything goes. I don't know if whoever's going to be watching this. I hope you enjoy. Um, and, yeah, let's dig into it. All right, so first up, we have the Atlanta Hawks. A team that has given us a lot of trouble. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm a, I am a huge Cavs fan. But this team has given us so much tr trouble. Um, but at the end of the day... I don't really mind them because when it matters most, I mean, we haven't really had to, you know, we haven't really had many struggles against them. I mean, we, I know we played them in the playoffs twice, 2015 and 2016, um, you know, but we beat up on them both times. So it didn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah, they're a neutral team. You know, they haven't really given us so much challenge in like the big games. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put them in neutral. Simple as that. Next already, we got the Boston Celtics. Where do you guys think I would put the Celtics, man? Be honest. So, yeah, obviously, I can't, I don't like the Celtics, man, at all, I really, I just, I just don't like them, you know, they're from Boston, they've beaten us so many times in the playoffs, yeah, that's pretty obvious, guys, why I don't like them, um, they're the, they, they beat, they also beat us in 2010, which was, uh, LeBron's last year in his first stint in Cleveland, and then he went off to Miami, then he came back, so, and then the rest is history, but, yeah, I gotta put the Celtics in hate, man, they're, uh, <clears throat> they're our biggest rival right now, and, you know, they have definitely caused the Cavs a lot of grief over the years. So, they're definitely a team that I, you know, just don't like. Next up, we got the Brooklyn Nets. I don't really mind the Nets. I mean, they're whatever now. I, I do feel bad for Ben Simmons. I not feel bad for him, but it's like, he had a lot of hype. So, it's like, you really wanted to see him do well. But I didn't really like them in the KD Kyrie Harden, you know, era, I guess. Even though it's not really an era. It was like two years ago and it was weird. But, um... You know, now they're whatever to me. I really don't have an opinion on them. Um, yeah, they're a neutral team. Next up, the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, they're a neutral. I do like LaMelo Ball. Um, you know what? MJ owns them too, man. There's no reason not to like them. I mean, look, he... I think... I mean, look, I love LaMelo Ball. I like the Ball brothers, period. I, I think LaVar Ball... You know, he deserves a lot of credit. I mean, he all three of his sons got into the NBA. I think that they all, um, I think he, he, he definitely deserves some props. I know that a lot of people don't like to give him props, but he definitely deserves some props. I mean, whether you like him or not, I really like him, but I know a lot of people don't, but I personally, I find him, you know, he's confident in his son. And I think the way he portrays it is kind of funny, but I like, I like the Hornets, man. I, re I respect, I respect them. Next up, the Bulls. Um... I don't mind them. Um, you know, back in the day, we used to have all those playoff battles. Um, you know, we beat them in 2015, I believe. Yeah, 2015. And then I think they, yeah, we beat them in, was it 2000? I think it was 2010. It was before we got knocked out in the second round against uh, the Celtics because we played the Bulls in the first round, I believe. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we, we, or unfortunately for them, we beat them. Um, and then, you know, they obviously, I respect the hell out of the Bulls. I mean, look at their history, man. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put them in, yeah, I'll, I'll put them in like, honestly, I do like the Bulls, I respect the Bulls, um, you know, they're obviously, you know, a, a formal rival of the Cavs, just because, like, you know, they had so many playoff battles, but now, I mean, one, they're not really a threat right now, at least, you know, I feel bad for my boy Lonzo, but I do like Zach Levine, uh, Kobe White, I like all them guys, and, you know, they're, they're chill for the most part, right now, at least, um, so, you know, I'm just a lover of the game, I guess, if you want to call me that. But, all right, next up, we got my Cleveland Cavs. Obviously, you guys know that's my favorite team. Um, yeah, no other category they belong in other than love anything below. Um, they're my team. And, um, you know, Ohio Pride. And I was at the game against uh, the Lakers, you know, on October 30th. You know, that was... That was LeBron's homecoming, yes, but it was also the day the Cavs improved to 5-0, and they're the best team in the NBA, 
right now, and they're the only team to come back from 3-1 in the NBA Finals. I have to be a little obnoxious about that. That's our only world title, but I can still brag about it. Anyway, next up, we got the Dallas Mavericks. I really like the Mavericks, and I'll tell you why. One, I love Mark Cuban. Proud, 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 proud owner right there. He deserves so much credit. I just enjoy him on Shark Tank also, you know, just as a personal thing. You know, I, whoever loves Shark Tank here, I love Shark Tank. I love watching Mark Cuban on that show. Uh, he's my favorite shark by far. But then I also really like Luka Doncic. I have a little bit of a love for Kyrie, but some of it's kind of like he, he, he was a little bit of a head case. Um, but, you know, now I, I think he's finding peace. And honestly, it's good that he's happy. I still have a little bit of a you know connection with Kyrie. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to put them in like I... I actually do, I really do like the Mavericks, honestly. I was rooting for them in the finals last year. Next up, the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the Nuggets, and I'll tell you why. One, I just don't like Jamal Murray, and I just don't like the way they, like, look, I think Jamal Murray and, like, you know, KCP, they only show up against LeBron and the Lakers, and that's just one reason I just, obviously, you know, I, like, obviously the Cavs are my team, but I ride with LeBron as well, you know, he's, some guy I've always, you know, watched. When the Cavs were doing miserable, you know, through those four years, I obviously would watch them, but I would obviously, you know, I would, I would be a lot tuned into the Lakers, obviously, because I, w- I wanted to see LeBron get a, you know, a fourth championship, what he got. But, you know, I honestly, just the last two years of, you know, just seeing, I just don't like, I mean, I really like, I will say that I really like the Joker. The Joker, he's a, he's excellent, and he deserves a lot of help. The Nuggets front office, we, we beat them last night. They're being hella cheap right now. Get him some help. You know, you can't be content with just one championship. This dude is good enough to get at least three. I'm telling you that right now. He'll get at least three. But, you know, I'm not a big fan of Jamal Murray. Um, I do really like, um, I, I guess I do like KCP a little bit. He's a fun player to watch, but, you know, just... They eliminated my boy from the playoffs two years in a row. I can't ride with that. But, yeah, I'll put the Nuggets there. Pistons, uh, I mean, we had some battles in the mid-2000s. We had a couple in the mid-2010s, but not much. I really don't mind them. If I feel bad for them, if anything. Um, yeah, put them in don't mind. Next up, an interesting one here, guys. We got the Golden State Warriors. I'll be honest with you. This is going to sound weird, but I actually really like watching them play. I love Steph Curry. He's my second favorite player in the league um, all time behind Le- Obviously, like, LeBron. It goes to LeBron, Steph, and then, you know, right now, obviously, I, I love, like, my favorite player in the league right now is Donovan Mitchell. Easy. You know, I love Donovan Mitchell. Um, and yeah, it's because he plays for my team, yes, but it's also, just, he's just such a fun player to watch. When he explodes, he gets going. But obviously, my favorite player of all time is LeBron. Steph is right behind him. I love watching Steph now. It's easier to watch him now because you guys know the history we have with him in the Golden State Warriors. Um, I did. I I'll tell you this. I hated them. Hated. Hated. Hated them. They were on par with like the Steelers, Cardinals, Michigan, Browns. Like they were there. Like I did not like this team when KD was there because they robbed us of one and arguably two championships. But now, really, this is going to sound weird. I really, like, I actually, re- I rooted for them in 2022 against the Celtics, so yeah. I enjoy watching them play. I'm going to put them in, like, I would put them in between, don't mind, because like, I really respect Steph. I love Steve Kerr as well. You know, I, I just enjoy watching them, honestly. Like, it's more of like a mutual respect kind of thing. You know, even in 2015, 2016, it was always a respect kind of thing but then 2017 2018 for me it was just pure hate because i just couldn't stand the move that kd made and just like their dominance over us and also the rest of the league i just couldn't stand it but anyway moving on to the houston rockets um they're okay they're neutral to me honestly i mean they're a good team and you know they're i think they lost to golden state last night i'm not really sure but yeah i got no problem with them they're i mean honestly i haven't really tuned into you know many i'm not really watching many rockets games this year um, but I, you know, Dylan Brooks is on that team. Obviously, Jalen Green is on that team. If I'm not mistaken, Steven, Steven Adams is on that team, too. So they got some OGs. Oh, Van Vliet. Let's not forget him, either. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put them. I'll put them in uh, Don't Mind. Next up, we got the Indiana Pacers. Um, hmm. This is tough. Honestly, like. See, I don't really mind the Pacers, but also, like, uh, 
I mean, they're, I don't want to call them geograph. I don't really want to call them geographic rivals, but you know, it, this was, this is tricky. I, I mean, I don't really mind the Pacers, honestly. Like I would say their biggest rival is definitely the Knicks. But for the Cavs, it's not really a rivalry, I would call it. I mean, we kicked their, we beat the crap out of it. LeBron has never lost a playoff series with the Celtics. Or the Celtics, excuse me, the Pacers. When he was in Cleveland, we used to always beat the crap out of them in the playoffs. Except for 2018, that wasn't beating the crap out of That was in seven, but I really don't mind the Pacers, honestly. I'm going to put them in. I'll put them in. Don't mind. Next up, we got the Clippers. The little brothers of LA and... Um, I don't really like the Clippers, to be honest with you, man. I don't know if it's just, like, the little brother thing where it's just, like, it's not just because, like, you know, I don't know. I just didn't, I just don't like the way, like, they conducted themselves. So, you know, I, 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 I do, I, I respect Steve Ballmer's, like, enthusiasm when they got Kawhi, PG, and all, but then, I don't know. I just didn't like the, I didn't like Pat Bev. I remember he got into a, a fight with Colin Sexton when we played them in 2019. I remember, you know, he would have some bickering issues with, um, you know, LeBron, and, you know, he would just, but honestly, yeah, I just don't like the, I just don't like the Clippers for some reason, they're, they're whatever to me, I mean, I'm not gonna, like, bag on them too much, but I just, if I had to pick a category, I'd put them in this, like, I don't hate them, but next up, we got the Lakers, uh, they gotta be here, obviously, LeBron is my favorite player of all time, and therefore, I root for the Lakers now, but, you know, obviously, the Cavs are my team. Lakers, like, Lakers got my favorite player, but the Cavs got, are my favorite team. So, you guys know, you know, I ride with LeBron. Um, I've been watching, I, I watch the Lakers, you know. Like, if the Cavs aren't on, I'll watch the Lakers as well. But, um, you know, I, 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 ride, I, ride with, I ride with the Cavs, of course. But LeBron, Ron Lapuki, he's got to be here, man. Next up, the Grizzlies. I do like John Moran, actually. You know, I, <laughs> Dylan Brooks was funny. Um... I'll put them in neutral, honestly. They're whatever to me. Next up, the Miami Heat. Unpopular. I don't know if it's unpopular just because I always say it's unpopular because Eastern Conference and everything. I do like Jimmy Butler. I do actually respect the Miami Heat a lot. You know, I, I love Eric Spolstra. I respect Pat Riley. Um, you know, I, I like, um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Oh, I loved, oh, I mean, obviously I love, yeah, I said Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero's okay. <laughs> Um, he's getting it going this year, which is good. And obviously, they just beat up on the Lakers by, I think, 40 points. I was a little bit tuning into that. So that was, that was crazy. But with the, as far as the Cavs, they don't really have much of a heated history with them. So, yeah, I'll put them in. I'll put them in like. And I really like, I really respect the organization, to be honest with you. Next up, the Bucks. Well, I like Dame. I like Giannis. Therefore, I got to put them in like. You know, they're simple as that. Not a huge fan of Doc Rivers. I think he's overrated. But... Those two players automatically put them in light for me, man. Next up, the Timberwolves. This is tough. Because I really like, you know, Ant-Man. But I really don't have an opinion on them. Yeah, I'll put them in neutral. They're whatever. Pelicans. Honestly, they're neutral as well. I just don't like... I mean... Okay, next up, the Knicks. Okay. Knicks are... People like Michael Rappaport, who's funny, by the way. I, I, I like Michael Rappaport, actually, a little bit. Um, I'll be honest with you. If there's a team that I would put in, like, the middle of these two... And honestly, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make another category. Oh, I apologize. Um, I'm going to make another category. And what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to put, because I don't really know if I hate the, or dislike the Clippers or Nuggets, really. It's just like a, meh, whatever. I'm going to put the Nuggets and the Clippers in the no thanks category. I apologize. That's, that's terrible lighting. I'm going to put them in the no thanks category, just because I feel like that suits them better. I don't want to completely hate on them. And I'm going to put the Knicks solely in dislike. I really don't like the Knicks, to be honest with you. Uh, it could be the big market thing. I didn't like how they, you know, even going back like five years, I didn't like how the media portrayed the Knicks in terms of like, oh, Zion would be so lucky to go there and, you know, he should force a trade out of New Orleans. You know, that's just that's just kind of dogs on small market teams. And obviously the Cavs are not a very big market team either. So, you know, that just kind of that just kind of uh, goes against like Michael. And even in the NFL, if you want to talk about it, like 
Cowboys are the biggest mark, like, you know, they're the America's team. So then, like, you just feel like they got a little bit of a bias from the media and, like, from other dudes. So then that just kind of turns me off with the Knicks, to be honest. I do like Jalen Brunson. I respect the hell out of him. But, and I respect, you know, they're, to, a his, to, a, to an extent, I respect their history. But, you know, whatever. Next up, the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is just a pop... Uh, yeah, I'll put them in neutral, to be honest. Like, honestly, it's just, like, a neutral, like, as it can get. The Magic... They're a good team. I like Parlo Pancaro. I hope he gets better soon. Franz Wagner, he's good too. Yeah, they're a neutral team though. I mean, there's no strong feelings there. I and mean, what else I'm gonna do? You know what? This came to my mind. I'm gonna add another category for LeBron. Oh, I apologize. Um, there we go. Yeah, they're going to be here. The Pookie. I got to put LeBron there, man. He's, he deserves it. Anyway, moving on to the Sixers. I like Joel Embiid. I know a lot of people don't, but I like him. I mean, he's having some issues this year. To be honest with you, I haven't looked too much into it. I know the Sixers in general are having issues, but they're a neutral team. They're whatever. Next up, the Suns. Devin Booker's fun to watch. Obviously, KD's fun to watch. He's not what he used to be. Um, but again, no strong opinions there. I'm going to be honest with you. Next up, the Trailblazers, as neutral as it can get. Next up, the Kings. They're also as neutral as it can get. The former Cincinnati Royals, by the way. San Antonio Spurs, much respect to them, man. I got to be honest with you. They are, you know, they're they're definitely at the, the one of the top franchises in the league, and that's just a lot of respect. I love Greg Popovich. Tim Duncan is respectable. Manu Ginobili. Um, I guess even before my time, David, Robbins, David Robinson. Um, there's so many guys out there that... You know, you, you, I have a lot of respect for him that team. And even Kawhi, you know, he was there. I, res- I respected him, too. So, Next up, the Raptors, speaking of Kawhi. Got him his first, their first championship. They're as neutral as it can be. You know, honestly, in the LeBron days, I, I didn't really like him that much. Just because, I mean, I guess we'd always see him in the playoffs. Granted, we beat them all the time. But still, I just wasn't too much a fan. But they're whatever now. Next up, the Jazz, neutral. Wizards, neutral. Sorry to keep it short, guys. But that is your list. Does anything look off to you at all? I hope not. You know, I feel like uh, everything is, uh, I guess, decent. Maybe it's not the epitome of what every Cavs fan has. Because I know a lot of Cavs fans are going to have Golden State Warriors and no thing, dislike, and maybe even hate. But not me. I honestly, I respect that a lot of them. You know, their organization. Honestly, like, yeah. Like, when you go back to 2017, 18, totally different story. I hated them. They were... They were way worse than the Celtics for me. But now, honestly, it's a different story. You guys have a great one. Enjoy the rest of your day. And let's go Cavs, baby. Best team in the league.